So guys, to get Hotego beta ROMs working on your analog pocket, well, in order to get them up and running, there's a, there's a slight change. It's not something that's very, very difficult, but this is why your friendly neighborhood Pixel Cherry Ninja is here to make things easier for you. So this here is the final round, the latest Hotego, uh, Hotego uh, beta core that's released for, for the Mr. Analog Pocket and other supported FPGAs. It's a game on the Konami twin 16 system and it's quite a decent boxing game but in order to get this running there's something additional that you need to do it's kind of similar to what we do in the mister but now it's kind of coming over to the analog pocket so let's go in and uh, have a look at this tutorial and just just so you guys know this game is running after i did the tutorial so i i know the tutorial works i done my tutorial like i usually do in real time but then this i done at the end and it's kind of confusing so if it sounds like i'm saying stuff that i've already said it's because i've done that first and i've done this after anyway without getting too much into it let's get into this tutorial hey guys and uh, welcome back to pixel cherry ninjas channel so there's a new way of getting hotego cores uh, up and running on your analog pocket now in, it, in this video we're going to go through it and i'm going to talk you through it step by step and, and just kind of talk about some some stuff regarding uh, how this may kind of change or develop in the future is definitely a good and a, and a welcome change and it's good possibilities that can arise from this so uh, this applies to Hotego patron members if you're not a Hotego patron subscriber then honestly this this video is is not for you guys if you if you're curious then hey cool then uh, you know watch it but uh, if you go over to uh, Hotego's latest Patreon post, which was released yesterday, the 1st of September, 2023, I'm filming this video on the 2nd of September, 2023. So what we want to do is we want, we want to download a couple of files. So the first one is going to be JT Friday, this one here, 230901. So let's just go and download that. And the other thing we're going to download is JT Beta dot zip so this is this is the one that we use on a mister but we're now going to use this on the analog pocket as well so let's go ahead and give that a click and download that okay once we have downloaded that let me just minimize this for now so we have got a file so on the left hand side we have got uh, my downloads folder with the files we've just downloaded on the right hand side i've got the roots uh, of my micro sd card for the analog pocket i've stuck it into the machine sorry not the root i was playing about with it that's the root of the micro sd card so what we're going to do is we're going to add these games on there now i've added some stuff on here but i have actually deleted the roms because we're going to use an auto updater to fetch that i'm going to use one of them but there's three really great ones available it doesn't matter which one you use the principles the same uh so first of all what we want to do let's just go ahead and um let's go ahead and unzip these now, i'm doing the tutorial in real time because that's the way i like doing it because at the end of it i'm going to test the game out to make sure it works so and if it works and i've done everything here i know it's going to work for you guys as well so use your favorite extracting bit of software i use 7-zip winrar wherever wherever it is you use but just extract the file so i'm going to extract them in a the folder here and for good housekeeping let's just delete these for now so we've only got the files that we need so uh, if you uh, if you if uh, if you go to the latest uh, post, it's going to tell you this, and I'm just going to read it out here. Sorry, guys, you haven't got a lot of eye candy in this one. It's just this is a tutorial, and it's just a raw tutorial. So, uh, the latest uh, post reads: important notes for pocket users, and it's it's written in bold. So, you know. Hotego and team want us to pay attention to this. So, and uh, the paragraph reads, in order to fa facilitate the installation of beta cores, this will be added to, uh, this will be added to JT bin from now on. Third party updater. So that's Pocket Sync, Retro Driven's Pocket Updater and Matt, Matt Panella's Pocket Updater as well. So third party updaters will take them from there and add it to your pocket, which is more convenient, but you will need to manually unzip the JT, uh, the JT, beta zip to the folder asset uh, jt uh, jt twin 16 common uh, okay so that's the the twin 16 hardware uh, game that we got which is the boxing game the final round and uh, and add that to the folder and also the same thing for assets jt torah which is the tiger road game common i'm going to show you how to do that anyway feel free to look at the the patreon post remember the important thing as well is the jt beta needs to be unzipped so otherwise uh, and then uh, the next part it says otherwise the core will show the credits at screen 
continuously and keep the control inputs locked. When calls are promoted to public versions, this requ requirement will be eliminated. So this is similar for anyone that's got a mister. This is similar to how we have it on a mister. We add the JT beta to a, a location on our mister and it just it lets us play the beta files. Once they're public, this doesn't apply. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you're a Patreon subscriber, you get the beta zip, you put it in place, you don't get the non-stop text and you get access to the controls. So anyway, let's get into this. So the first thing we want to do, let's have a look at what's in here. So once we have a look at, uh, so, okay, so once we have a look at JT Friday, ignore everything else, go over to Pocket because that's what we want. Now, if we look over here inside assets, we're going to have JT Tora and JT Twin 16. So that's the Tiger Road uh, folder um, uh, the tiger yeah, tiger road core and uh, or assets for the tiger road core and the jt twin 16 sorry if it's getting a bit confusing i'm, I'm going to try and make it simpler sorry I, I do go on sometimes let's just go back out okay so we're going to go into the jt friday pocket then go into the pocket folder once you go into here just highlight all of this and copy and paste it or in my case i'm going to drag it which is going to copy and paste it as well i'm just going to drag it over to the root of my uh, analog pocket sd card now, i've already got some of the files on here let me just go to replace i'm going to replace those on there but i don't what i don't have is i don't have the roms on there I, i've deleted those uh, after kind of converting them manually and then the next thing we want to do is let's go back out and we want to go to the jt beta folder now on the mister we put this zipped on the analog pocket Ortego says we need to put this unzip. So beta.bin and it needs again the folders that are named in the Patreon post. So we want to go to uh, JT, right? Okay, sorry. J, here we go. Uh, so the first one's here, JT Tora, and it goes inside common. Okay, so this is where your ROMs are going to go. This is where the beta needs to go. So for now, it goes into the um, folder you're seeing here, the JT Tora within common. But let's go back out because we also want to put it in the JT Twin sites. Okay, so the JT Twin folder, let's go here. Let's go common and let's add the beta file here. Now, um, the, ROMs will get, the, the ROMs will come down irregardless now, but you will only be able to play them with this beta file in there. Now, what the updater guys are trying to do to make it easier uh, in, in future for all of us is hopefully we can add the beta.bin file to the root of the micro SD card. And once we add it to the root of the micro SD card, what we can do, it, it will do the work for you. It will place it in the folders and kind of get stuff working for you so you don't have to do this step. Currently, you do need to do this step. So just watch this space. The guys, um, Neil Morrison, Matt Panella, Retro Driven, extremely hard work working extremely extremely good guys so they work for free making stuff easy for us to use so hopefully uh, some more ease of use stuff will get implemented this is a good change from Hotego and how uh, he gets his beta calls up and running and the updater guys will have something that will make this easy at least currently for now that's how you want to do it now if you're not using an updater and you and you're converting the ROMs manually. I've got tutorials. Um, I've got tutorials on the channel about that. I'll link one in the description of the video if you do want to convert stuff manually. You will still need to have the beta.bin within the folders going forward. Uh, but anyway, let's now run the updater. And with any joy, it should fetch us ROMs for uh, the J the JT Twin 16, which is going, going to be the final round. And where's the other one? The JT Tora, which is going to be Tiger Road. So let's run up the updater. And hopefully, if, if I've done everything correctly, uh, we should be getting uh, those ROMs. Right, okay. So I am I like using Pocket Updater, Matt Panella's Pocket Updater, but you can use Retro Driven's one or you can use uh Neil Neil Morrison's one, which is Pocket Sync. It doesn't matter which it doesn't matter which one you're using. Uh, the reason that I like Pocket Updater because it works well, you just kind of leave it on the analog pocket micro SD card and you kind of run it from there, updates it, just kind of goes in there. So I leave that one in there, but all three of them are good. It's just down to choice. You know, do you want an iTunes looking one? Do you want do you want one that just kind of does it through a command prop window? Honestly, choice is completely and utterly yours. Anyway, let's run the updater.
Okay, as you can see there now, guys, update complete assets installed. So it went through everything that I already had. Obviously, checked it was already installed. But over here, we've got assets installed. What's this over here? Tiger Road, the different variations of the Tiger Road games, and also the final round one ROM. So awesome stuff. So we have now got the new ROMs. Uh, and uh, yeah, man, all good. Okay, guys, so if you followed along the tutorial, you followed all the steps and uh, you should be here now. You should be playing Tiger Road and the final round, which are at the time of shooting this video. Anyway, the latest Hotega, uh, Hotega, I keep saying Hotega. Sorry, I'm a little bit tired when doing this video. It's Hotego, the latest Hotego uh, beta cause. And uh, yeah, definitely, definitely try these out. Now, like I said during the tutorial, the update guys, they're going to work hard on streamlining this process for you. So it's even easier than it is already because, hey, uh, a big shout out to Hotego and all his guys. Uh, team update and Neil Morrison. Um, Neil Morrison, Retro Driven, and uh, Matt Panella. Guys, you the work you do is awesome. I really, really like it. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Um, if you did enjoy the content, then a subscription and a like is super appreciated. I'll see you guys around. This is Pixel Cherry Ninja out.